guys, and welcome back to the Worst Keto Cooking Show on the internet. It is uh, the first day of a brand new year. It is 2021. I think we can all gladly kiss 2020 goodbye. And it is Fast Food Friday. So I mentioned a few weeks ago, I love Taco Bell. I also love KFC. So why don't we keto the K and the KFC? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make some KFC style butter biscuits. Uh, these guys are going to be awesome. I think they come out to about two or three net carbs per serving. They taste really, really good and they're easy to make. As long as you have a few basic ingredients, a food processor and an oven, you can knock this out in no time whatsoever. So let's go to the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how to make these delicious KFC butter biscuits. All right, so the ingredient roll call, we have our oven preheating at 400 degrees. Over here, we're going to be using one cup of almond flour, one tablespoon of whey protein. We've got two tablespoons of softened butter. I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 15 seconds just to soften it up a little bit more. We're going to use one teaspoon of active dry yeast. We're going to put that in a quarter cup of warm water. We're going to activate that with half a teaspoon of honey. Over here, we've got, let me make sure I'm telling you right here, we've got a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of xanthan gum. And we're also going to be using half a cup of full fat ricotta cheese. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to do is activate our yeast. So what we're going to do with that is we've got a teaspoon right here of active dry yeast. And yeah, I'm not even going to measure, I'm just going to hit a little squirt of honey in there, boom. Grab this knife. Now I know what you're thinking, keto, it's keto. You're also thinking my oven is on here, correct? You're telling me, hey honey, is it keto? You can't have that. And normally you would be correct. However, the amount of sugar that is in this is going to be eaten up by the yeast. That's going to activate that. That's going to give us a little bit of rise whenever we start making our uh, biscuits. So I'm going to let that proof. I'm going to set my honey aside. Over here in our food processor. I'm going to start off with a cup and a half of almond flour. I keep my almond flour in the freezer because it is fat, it can go rancid. This, oh, that is perfect. Just a hair more. It is a fat, so it can go rancid, so this is gonna keep it fresher for longer. I keep my almond and my coconut flour always in the freezer. Well, actually, I need to throw my butter in the microwave real quick. Let that go for 15 seconds. Just melted enough for it to be able to work. We are going to use a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of whey protein. This is just some unflavored whey protein. This is mostly protein uh, concentrate, not isolate, but this is going to be a really good option. And this is actually going to give your uh, your breads, your biscuits, whatever you're doing that you want a bready consistency, this is actually going to give it a nice little bit of lift. All right, so we've got all of our dry ingredients in here. Pull 
set up just to get everything well combined. Now we're gonna add our three eggs. Oh no. Dose. Three. Gonna add in our melted butter. half a cup of full fat ricotta cheese. Finally, we have our active yeast. You can see how it bubbled on top. That means that the yeast is activated. It has risen, so this is actually gonna give it a really good breaded flavor, along with that, uh, the butter, the protein, everything else that we added to it. Get these out of the way. And we're just gonna mix this on high for about 30 seconds. Break down the sides, make sure nothing is uh, not getting mixed up in there. That smells good already. It smells like bread. And let that mix up for about another. See, that is a really nice batter right there. We're just gonna add this to our little uh, muffin tin to make us some biscuits. And to really emphasize the fact that this is the worst keto cooking show on the internet, I did not butter my pan. Thankfully, I've got another pan right here. So these guys might actually fight us whenever they go to come out. All right, 20 minutes is up. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, those look nice. It's small, but it should be good. So I'm going to let these guys cool off for a few minutes before we try popping them out. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. I've let these cool off, and you can see we've got some that are on the pan already. Well, these are the ones that I greased up the pan on. So those are the ones that are currently cooling down. That's the pan that was greased. These, however, the ones that are fuller and look beautiful, I did not grease this pan. So this is gonna be a little bit harder to get these guys to pop out. Gonna shave that around the sides there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So 
So it mostly worked. <laughs> um, if you grease the pan, this is going to work out a lot better, obviously. But I'm going to let these cool another 30 minutes. The bottom's still a little bit warm. I'm going to hope that's going to loosen up the bottom. But as you can see, if you do cook it correctly, the recipe does work. They do come out great. You just need to make sure you, you grease your pan down before you throw them in the oven at 400, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. They look pretty though. That's the important thing. It's, what, it's how it looks that matters, not what's on the inside. Or something like that. I don't know. Well, guys, I'm not going to put on a show and try and act like uh, things went better than they did. They did. Um, half of the biscuits stuck to the bottom of the pan. So the top half on that first pan came out great. The biscuits on the second pan, though, came out perfect. Uh, and I want you guys to see this. Look right here in the middle. I'll get out of the way so you can see that. That feels and looks, and especially that tastes like a butter biscuit. These are so good. Uh, throw a little bit of like sugar-free jam, a little bit of extra butter on here. These guys are awesome. I hate that that one batch did not come out well, but. I'm not going to put on a show in that like I did something better than what I actually did it. I'm honest. I am not a cook. I'm not a chef. I'm a guy who's trying to keep himself honest with his diet. And this show is how I do it. So if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, share it, leave a comment. Let other people know about it. Follow me on Instagram at Dirty Keto Mercer. You can find my recipes, my workout stuff all on there. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see on the next Fast Food Friday. Next week, I've actually got a subscriber suggestion. I'm going to be trying out Taco Bell Mexican Pizza. I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, hopefully, if I make more than one, it'll come out better than half the biscuits that are stuck to the pan. But like I said, the bit that's left is still pretty great. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. God bless. And let's make 2021 a good year. See you guys next time. Hey guys, I just want to thank today's video sponsor. Wintersville Fitness in Valdosta, Georgia is an 11,000 square foot gym with top of the line life fitness strength and cardio equipment. It's veteran owned and locally operated facility and was voted the best fitness center in South Georgia in 2020. They have five certified personal trainers on staff and have group fitness classes including yoga, Zumba, spin, and cardio kickboxing. Their boot camps are ran by a trainer who first brought the boot camp classes to South Georgia several years ago and all clients of the boot camp are guaranteed results from the six week course for a down-to-earth gym in a cleat and safe environment go see them at 1711 norman drive in valdosta georgia check out their facebook page or visit them at wintersvillefitness.com